In this overview of Confluence, I'm going to explain what a wiki is and how standard wiki functionality can help your company and its employees store, access and share content. I'm also going to talk about Confluence as an enterprise wiki, how it's suitable for use in a corporate environment and how the features of Confluence, such as permissions to restrict access to certain content, makes it more suitable for use within companies and organisations. To begin with, it's useful to know what a wiki is and how it differs from a standard website. So a wiki is a website that allows you to edit and add content in a very simple and easy way. And this is how you edit and add content in Confluence. So to edit a page, simply select the edit icon, change the content of the page, and then select save. And that's how you change content in Confluence. Here's how you add a page. Go to add, select page, add a title in the title box, and then select save. And that's how you add a page and edit content in Confluence. And that, I think you'd agree, is a pretty simple process. There's another wiki that I'm sure that you'll have used in the past, and that's Wikipedia. It's a very famous wiki and it shares some features with Confluence. So both Wikipedia and Confluence allow for the quick editing and adding of content, which means that content is kept relevant and up to date. And that's because the content is in the hands of those who it's important to, people who connect to that content. It's not the case that you have to submit the content to another party for it to be uploaded. And it's not the case that it needs to be sent somewhere to be approved. Both Confluence and Wikipedia allow people or teams to work together on content so that people with different sorts of expertise and different knowledge bases can work together, even if they're connecting to that content from different parts of the world. And this is a real bonus for creating a page to share information in Wikipedia, and it can be on anything from Karl Popper, who's a famous philosopher, to somebody like Paris Hilton, whose purpose isn't quite clear to most of us. In terms of confluence, people can share their expertise and knowledge on a specific aspect of the company. And this information can be added to pages and then it's easily retrieved and distributed to people who work in the same company. And this information could be for something as simple as the best way of commuting to the office, to organising a company-wide conference, or for instructions on how to use a specific sort of software. There are, of course, ways in which Wikipedia and Confluence are quite different. Confluence is an enterprise-level wiki. It's meant for use within organisations and it's been set up specifically to work in that way. Um, one example of this is the way in which permissions work in Confluence. So there's levels of security which make it possible to have one area of the wiki open to some users and other areas containing sensitive information are closed and they're unavailable. It also means that there's a specific and scalable way of organising content within the system. A common problem experienced in organisations is the sharing and distribution of information and knowledge. Information and knowledge is often stored inside documents that have been created using software such as Microsoft Word or Excel. And this is distributed via email or sometimes available in shared drives. And there's problems with both of these systems, as you'll know very well if you've experienced working in that environment. Information gets fragmented, it's difficult to find, difficult to distribute without resorting to email. And then you've got the resulting version controlling nightmare where people are asked to update the same document and then the person whose job it was to distribute and ask for changes now has to pick through each addition to the document and come up with something that everyone's happy with. So what Confluence does is it enables people to put the information in one place, the wiki. Information's added into pages, pages can have attachments and the content of the pages can be discussed via comments. Now the content is no longer added via a specific application such as Word or Excel, people don't need specific software to access that content. Even better, page content is version controlled, so you can easily revert to an older, prior version of the page and you don't have to worry about overwriting or removing important content. So once this content is added, all of the content the page contents, the content of attachments that have been added to the page and comments that have been added to the page, all of this is now searchable and it's much easier to locate. 
It's easier to locate because Confluence provides a way to organize and structure your content. In Confluence, content is structured into spaces and a space is kind of like a folder on your PC where you can store related content to organize it and make it easier to retrieve or locate somewhere down the line. So this is the human resources space. There's going to be some content here that's restricted that only certain people can access. And this page in particular, Employee Reviews, has got a restriction added to it. And you can tell that because it's got the little lock icon up here. Now, if we select the lock icon, you can see who has access to this page. So these two people are able to access this page fully, but nobody else can. So within Confluence, it's possible to set up certain areas of the wiki so it's available to some users but not to others and this is particularly useful obviously in any organization where there is restricted information so in this video i've been looking at confluence and how the application provides some ways for your organization to manage and share its content just to recap confluence is a wiki and with a wiki you can easily add content and share that content with other people and as an enterprise level wiki, Confluence has got features that make it suitable for sharing and accessing content inside a company or organization. Security features are one aspect of this, as is the way in which Confluence organizes and structures the content within it.